what he is demonstrating in your life. Amen. Praises to him. Honor to uh, leaders of our church, to you, my sisters and brothers uh, in Christ, in creation. It's good to be here. Amen. Sunday after Thanksgiving. Yes, Lord. Amen. Isn't that, isn't that good to be here? Yes. It means it means it means you you were here for Thanksgiving. Yes. If you are in service the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Yes. Amen. How many of you just you knew it going in? Hey. But even still, you got so much to be thankful Come for. Come on. Huh? In that, in the, in the truth, even before, before it, it was Thanksgiving, huh? Anybody give thanks while you're cooking? You give thanks while you're shopping? If you like me, I be telling God, I don't know who's gonna pay for all this stuff in this bag. <laughs> but man, I tell you what, you he get to the register and he deliver. Every time. But thank God. I thank God. Because gas now ain't high as it was back in the summer. I'm telling you, God, he'll he'll mess with you sometimes. Look like he, this stuff ain't gonna come together, but man, through it all. That's who you better put your trust in. Oh, I'm just grateful. I get tickled when I say my grace sometimes. Woo! I just think about where all this stuff come from. Thank yeah. God uh, yeah, yeah. for him. And I know you're blessed as well. I, I'm going to close this series out. We've been talking about give thanks. <laughs> Giving thanks. I'm going to close it out in, in the book of Colossians chapter 4. I'm going to look at this. Just one verse. Colossians chapter 4, we we'll look at verse 2. And it, and it simply says, Colossians 4 and 2, it simply says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. I'm going to read it out so sure I'm read it again. Look, look, continue in prayer. Yeah. And watch in the same. Come on. With thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. May be seated in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Today I'm gonna tag this text today. I, I wanna oh, as, as we as we go into the holidays and 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 some people have weights on them, you know, things that are on your mind, things that are pressing you. You got more. How many of you got more to do, do in December than just celebrate? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got some stuff, you know, that, that that's going on. And I, I just want to encourage you this morning. We'll talk on this subject. Keep moving forward. Thank you. Right now. That's, that's all I want to encourage you to do this morning is to just keep moving forward. Yeah. My my mama's been gone a long time. Uh uh over 10 years, or uh, uh, right at 10 years, I think it was 2012 when, 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 she, when she passed. And, and I think about some of the things that she's uh, spoken to me over the years, the advice that she's given me uh -huh. yeah. over, over, over the years, and, and, and some, some I can uh, say and some I can't say. Uh, but because but she always had something to say uh, about something. She always had good advice to give. But one of the best things that she's ever told me to do is that no matter what, keep moving forward. Right. I, 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 I remember when she spoke to, to me. I, I, it seemed like at, at that point in my life, I was in a rut. I, you ever been in a rut yeah. where, where you're stuck? You, you ain't going forward. You're not going backwards. You, you can't wiggle your way out of it. You can't buy your way out of it. You can't talk your way out of it. You can't lie your way out of it. You're just stuck. Yeah. Huh? Money will uh, 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 get you in a position where you're stuck. Yeah. Huh? Uh, bad relationship will leave you abandoned, will leave you uh, <laughs> stuck. Stuck in your house 
will trap you, will isolate you. But one of the best things you can do, that no matter what's going on, no matter how burdened you are, no matter how sick you are, even if there's pain in your life, it's the best that you can do, if you can do anything, keep moving forward. I don't care if you are having a bad day. Expect a better day tomorrow. Yeah. Now see, sometimes I, I love that choir, that song that the choir used to say, encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. And one of the best ways to keep yourself in carriage is to not stay stuck in a situation or a trap. A that's bringing you down, out, that's stressing you out. You got to keep moving forward. Because if you keep moving forward, what's holding you down, you'll eventually get past. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got you to keep moving forward. Pray, Pastor Nolan, t- t- you say keep moving forward. Should I just move forward in a kind of way? No. 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 The older you get, you got you to gotta watch your steps. Yeah. Huh? You, as you get wiser and, and as God blesses you to overcome some things. Do you know God will deliver you out of some stuff, but it's with the expectation that you stay out of it? Yes. Huh? Uh, uh, God, 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 we want God to deliver us from the same <coughs> thing over and over again. But God delivered us uh, with the expectation of us learning from the things that he's delivered us out of. And so, yeah, when God straightened it out in your life, you got to keep it straight. Yeah. Yeah, how many of you can just clean your house one time? Huh? Yeah. Before you get through cleaning up, it's already some dust. <laughs> yeah, so so we have to move, we have to, we have to move forward, but be mindful of how we move. Paul in his letter to the church uh, at Colossus, he he is encouraging them uh, to be mindful of the states of their lives. He read this book. He understands that there are people in relationships that are husband and wife. There are relationships between parents and children. Uh, there are relationships in the workplace. Uh, and Paul gives instructions on how we are to behave uh, one with the other. And, and I think it's important for us to understand, sisters and brothers, sure, you can have problems with your health, physically. <coughs> uh, sure, you can have you know, problems in, uh, you know, uh, on, on a job that comes out of a workplace, that type uh-huh. of thing. You, yeah. you, you can, you can want to advance on a job and not have the skills to, to advance. They, they may have require a degree to go to the next level. And there are so there are some things that can limit people. I tell young black guys, young, 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 uh, black girls as well, you gotta watch your record, your criminal record, mm-hmm. huh? because your criminal record will hold you back. Uh, folk with felonies, you got to be careful. That folk, anybody just won't hire you. And so, uh, uh, your mama and daddy can't protect that. You got to protect that. Huh? And so, so there are things that will limit us. But, but more often than not, the problems that we gonna have are gonna come from dealing with people. Huh? And so, Paul spends time uh, dealing with <coughs> relationships in this book. And he he closes, uh, he, he, even, even in verse 1 of our text, he has a word for uh, the relationship between a master and a slave. Uh, in, in, in Paul's day, there were, there, there were slaves. It, it was part uh, of the uh, socioeconomic uh, picture. And, and Paul has a word for them. Listen, you might have behaved one way before you knew Christ, 
But if you are a child, if you are own slaves and, and, and Christ comes into your heart, don't think you can go back to that relationship and it be the same. Huh? And so Paul has a word for that. Look what he says in verse 1. Masters, give unto your servants mm -hmm. that which is just mm -hmm. and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. If you knew somebody that's, you know, while you watching folk, if you knew somebody was watching you, yeah. how would you behave? All right. huh? Paul said, let's be mindful of that and let that ideology steer our relationships. And so he's saying regardless of what these relationships are, are bringing, we have to move forward in them. That's what he says continue. Huh? I love this. I love this because it, you know, regardless of it, in a marriage, people, people that are married can testify to this. Every day in a marriage is not always a good day. All right. Huh? But you can't, listen, listen. If you if you're gonna separate Every time something come up, you ain't going to never be together. I wish I had some married folk that would testify that if you're going to get mad and pack up your bags, every time that Negro forget to put the top on the toothpaste or forget to put the seat down on the toilet, you're going to stay gone. <laughs> But see, but see, in marriage, what you have to learn to do is continue. You got to move forward past, past what that Negro did, uh, past what he said, past him hurting her feelings, uh, her hating her, hurting his feelings, Sister Nolan hurting Pastor Nolan's feelings, past all of that. You have to learn to keep moving forward. But listen, when you stay in it long enough, you start moving forward differently. Listen, listen, let me tell you how to move forward. If you're going to move forward in your relationship, if you're going to move forward or in the workplace, if you're going to move forward uh, 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 in, in the family, let, let, me, let me give you three things to consider. Number one, you need to move forward prayerfully. Yeah. Huh. Listen, Listen, sisters and brothers, you, 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 we, we need to yeah. approach uh, going forward differently. Uh, God expects us to handle ourselves differently the longer we stay with him. Amen. I don't know about you, but can you testify that you're different? Mm -hmm. Huh? Now? In your relationship with God, than you were when you just when you first said yes to Him, you're different. How many can say I I'm different because I trust more. Huh? I'm different because in my prayer life, I find myself instead of talking so much, I'm hearkening unto His voice and His Spirit. I know I'm growing in the Lord because instead of whining, I find myself praying. says. He says, continue in prayer. Yeah. And, and listen, for you to continue in prayer, I mean, you got to be praying in the first place. All right. All right. And, and, and some of us sisters and brothers, prayer is not our first option. It ought to be our first option, but too many times for the believer, prayer is secondary. Prayer yeah, occurs by happenstance, but I've discovered that the believer's life ought to be centered around conversations with the Lord. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I find myself talking to God all day long. All the time. Huh? All day long. Listen, I, I don't wait to I, that that Lord lay me down to sleep. Pray my soul to Lord keep that. That's the elementary prayer. I ain't got time to to die. I, I got too much going on in my life to wait till I lay down to pray. I need God at one in the afternoon every now and then. Anybody else need God at eleven? Folks that get out of relationships, you know 
our folk get out of bad relationships huh, and end back up in bad relationships because they move on, but they don't move on prayerfully. Right. Huh. God, sisters and brothers, will lead and direct us when we invite him into our situations. Well, not only should uh, we move forward in prayer, but Paul suggests that we ought to be watching while we're praying. Uh -huh. uh, that's a great exercise, sisters and brothers, to engage in uh, uh, when you're waiting on God to deliver. Christ told his disciples uh, when he was in the garden of the seminary, he said, do me a favor, fellas. Uh, I'm going to go yonder and pray. Be sure and watch and pray on my behalf. I want you to know, uh, sisters and brothers, that we move forward not only by praying, but we move forward by watching. Amen. Well, Nolan, what, what are you watching for? I'm, I'm watching to see what God is going to do. I'm watching to see oftentimes how the enemy reacts. Do you know, sisters and brothers, when God uh, is moving, the enemy becomes disturbed. When God is moving, the enemy becomes anxious. When God moves, uh, the enemy turns up his game. That's why you don't just pray. You watch and pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, I don't know about you. But when my grandkids come over to the house, I, I, I'm mindful how they play outside. Because you know, folk don't slow down in your neighborhood. So I don't just pray and send my grandkids outside. No, I got too much sense for that. No, 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 I pray and then I go outside and I watch. Wow, I wish I had some folk to testify uh, about watching in your life. There are times while you're praying, you got to be watching. You got to be looking out for the enemy. The very ones that are hollering about they praying for you, that'll be the very one that's digging a ditch for you. watch. You got to pray and you got to watch the scripture says in the same. Mm -hmm. I pray and watch in the same. In other words, God will change things. Yes, he will. But you're going to miss it because you ain't watching. <laughs> Preach no, when you, you somewhere gossiping. Mm -hmm. And you miss God move. But Paul says, Paul says, Paul says, when you move forward, he says, continue in prayer and be watchful in the same. I'm close. <coughs> but huh, he also says, with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Listen, while, while you're moving forward, Always tell God thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It thank seems you, it seems so elementary. Mm -hmm. Well, you're probably saying to yourself, Pastor Nolan, everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I've had been moved by God in certain times in my life to be a blessing to somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, let me tell you something. If you intend on being a blessing because you want to hear thank you, mm -hmm. you're going to miss your blessing. Mm -hmm. there, there are some folk that are too mean, too evil, too ignorant to receive. There are 
turn around and receive a blessing, but too arrogant, too full of themselves to say thank you. Yeah. Want you to know, sisters and brothers, if you're gonna move forward, you gotta move forward thanking God. Somebody said, Rip Nolan, you don't know how bad my circumstances are. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how bad your circumstances are, but you still yeah. ought to have a thank you yeah. Yeah. on yeah. your lips. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had somebody to testify that I just got so much yeah. Yeah. to be thankful for. Yeah. That that my tank never runs empty on oh, being thankful. I don't know about you, sisters and brothers, but there's a whole lot I want God to do in my life. Ah, uh -huh, but I gotta still tell him that you show sure been good to me. And I just like to tell him, thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah. Is there anybody here uh, have made up in their mind? Uh, in my life. Uh, I'm going to move on from some things. Uh, uh -huh, but I'm going to move in a different way. Uh, I'm going to move prayerfully. Uh, I'm going to invite God uh, to lead me uh, step by step. Uh, yes, as I move forward. Uh, uh -huh, I'm going to move watching. Uh, what are you looking for, Nolan? I'm looking to see how good God has been to me. I'm watching and I'm waiting because it's just a matter of time before God moves on my circumstance. Job said, I'm going to wait on the Lord until my change comes. Huh? 
prepare the lady in the store. I'm like, oh, I just broke the nail. Let me go run. Get That's a blessing. <laughs> to be able to do that. Somebody to testify. I never thought I'd be living where I'm living. I never thought I'd be driving what I'm driving. I never thought I'd be able to pay what I'm paying every month. Yet God is sustaining me day by day. Now, I never thought I'd be living the way. I never thought I'd be able to do that for myself. But God has blessed me to do. I'm telling you, you got something to be thankful for. What a blessing. Got to keep moving forward. Huh? Can't let that pain, can't let that burden, can't let that issue get you down. Got to keep moving forward. Because guess what? If you keep praying and you keep watching and you keep telling God, thank you, it's just a matter of time before he moves on your circumstance. Anybody ever want to see God move? Huh? Listen, tell him thank you. Feel, wake up one morning and say, God, I want to see you move today. Wake up telling him thank you all day long and watch him. Watch him move for you. I believe it. I believe it to be so. And so who wouldn't want to serve God Come on. like this? Right. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you how to receive it. Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with the mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe within thine heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Salvation is yours for the asking. Don't have to jump through hoops for it. Huh? Price has already been paid. Oh, yeah. huh? God says, accept me and allow me to reign over your life. Receiving the day is my advice to you. Maybe you are saved, but you're on church. Paradise is the place to be a pastor and a legion. People to love you where we engage in the business of growing God's kingdom. But if that is you, I want you to come and unite with us. Just make it known uh, that the proper response to an invitation is to say yes. And so, if you don't have a church home, come and unite with us. And then finally, those of you who need God, those of you who want to invite God into your situation, into your, your private affairs, I want to I wanna be the first one to lead you in that experience. I want to launch you with all, expecting the very best uh, from God in your circumstances. So if that is you, if that is you, if that is you, if you find yourself in one of those three categories, if you need salvation, if you need a church home, or if you just need Prayer. The doors of the church are open. Let's say favor this morning. Yep, favor. 